And the Warriors won the toss and deferred to the second half, so Aiden Driscoll will kick it off. And Brookfield East will look into that bright sun and come back on the return. This is number 25 for Brookfield East. That's Simon Lupton with the return, and he gets the Spartans out of good Simon shape. Lupton on the re Now here's McGath keeping it. Turning it upfield, McGath in the open. 20, 10, touchdown, Brookfield East. 44 yards for Sam McGath. One-two punch of McGath and Hunt. Show why Brookfield East is here. Impressive drive in the first minute, 35. The Spartans take the early lead on the long run by the quarterback and the keeper. Sam McGath running all the way, and nobody touches him. Nobody touched him. Look at that hole. Fry tried to chase him down, but McGath was going to win that race. Keen. Good throw and a wide open receiver is Mobley out of the backfield. 10, 5, touchdown, Wanakee. 32 yards. That's an answer. Brookfield East goes 90 yards in a minute 35. The answer came quickly. Keen, the backup quarterback to Mobley, who's emerged as the top running back after Alex Morgan got hurt. So two guys off the bench have been vital guys down the stretch, and they pull on a key within one with a quick touchdown. Down catch. Here comes the run, and there is Hunt into the end zone. Touchdown, Brookfield East. Donovan Hunt for a seven-yard score. Doesn't matter what the stats say. Brookfield East goes up and down the field in their two possessions. So both of these teams have had a had a tough road to get here, but here they are playing for the Division II state championship. Bronzinski. This is going to be a little pooch kick. Oh boy, look at that! Well designed. And did he get it in bounds? He did! A little trickeration from oh. Ben Farley. He Michael. surprises Wanaki with the pooch kick. Michael Poker caught it in stride. Nobody over there. Well executed. And again, there's no white shirts around. Nice play, and he stays in bounds, and that's a legal play. Brookfield East is in business at the 39. I don't think that son was helping Michael Poker either, but boy, he short hopped it like a baseball shortstop this quarter Brookfield East with a quick turnaround and a short field at the 38 make it 39 yard line now a flea flicker McGath's going deep and Towser intercepted it he was looking for Brady Wellman the ball hung a little bit and Hauser makes another big defensive play and that one is right through so Wanakee gets points. 27-yard field goal for Aiden Driscoll. Oh, he might have got another six, seven inches There's from no there. There's coach's challenges yeah. under this replay process. But Hunt dives into the end zone and gets the touchdown. Donovan Hunt with his second rushing score, and Brookfield East extends its lead to 20 to 10. Boy, he's an exciting player. His long run sets up the two-yard burst, which gives Brookfield their third touchdown, and they lead by 10 with an extra point forthcoming. Pat Rice talks about an ownership transition that has happened to all the great teams at Wanakee, where the tra ownership transition goes from the coaches to the players. That one's intercepted! The ball hung up in the air, and it's McGath getting the pick for Brookfield East. Thanks, Alan. That's John Champ he was referring to. Now Hunt's back in the game, and Hunt bullying his way to the goal line. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Brookfield East. Well, they put Hunt back in the game. He gets his third score of the game. Brookfield East takes advantage of the turnover. They go in the short field, bring Hunt back in the game. And he goes the final two yards behind Champ. Champ leads the way. Wow. And Hunt is the beneficiary. Churning those legs the final yard. Touchdown, Hunt. I got a nickname for John Champ, the Eclipse. See the shadows starting to creep out of the field here at Camp Randall Stadium. Pump doesn't throw it. Now he does. And man wide open. Got it. 
Jordan Wench, touchdown, Wanake. Beautifully done. Third touchdown catch of the year. Went for the lot of separation from the, the defensive back, and Keen laid it right in there. So Wanake says, we can score two. They go down the field quickly. Nice throw from the sophomore quarterback to Wench who broke free and made the diving catch. That's a 31-yard touchdown strike. Boy, good grab. <laughs> Plays for Bayport. Here's an important third down. They pitch it, and there's Wanake. They lost the football. It's loose. The Warriors are on it. Oh, worst case scenario for Brookfield East, and coming away with it. Randy Wojcik. Randy Wojcik got the fumble recovery. I think Gage Hughes might have forced the fumble. Wojtacek, however, with the recovery, and Wanakee's in business. That's a dangerous pitch back. As it was Nick Plemer who got the little pitch back, and there was a bunch of Wanakee Warriors there, and uh, Bo Fry, I think, might have pitched might it have knocked out, huh? yeah. So, Boy, what a big score this would be to start the third quarter. Here's the quarterback, Keen! Touchdown, Wanake! Another great ball fake to Alec Morgan, and Keen goes in for the two yard score. Now, is it too early to start chasing the scoreboard? It's a five point game. Oh, if you go for two here, it's a field goal game. It looks like Pat Rice is going to kick the point. You're doing that card thing, aren't you? Alex to talk about having a card. <laughs> We'll get, we'll get to him later, but too early for that. Yep, I agree. 12 plays, 73 yards, 342 the time. Aiden Driscoll's extra point is good. And as Brof said, a 24-yard field goal attempt to try to make it a seven-point game. Snap's good. Kick is good. Bronzinski from 27. Keen, good protection, throws, got a man shaft, makes a move for a man to miss, gets a block, he's at the 30, he's to the 26 yard line. Hoping for a replay, well Wanake keeps it, here's Mobley, and he lost it, and Brookfield East has it this time. Another fumble inside the 10, and that time, guess who? Who else? Sam McGath with the recovery. What else can that guy do? Trying to get everybody set. Now they are. Here's the snap. Keen to throw. Throwing. End zone. Voidacek. Touchdown. What a game. With eight seconds left. Video replay not needed there. Voidacek gets the touchdown. And Wanake needs the extra point to tie it. Or will they go for two, as oh we learned goodness. earlier? It looks like they're going to kick and play for overtime. Third That's touchdown like pass of the day for Keen, who buys time with his legs and then shot puts the ball to Wojciech, who makes the catch. And here's the game tying extra point attempt. Driscoll. Oh my goodness, he missed it! We saw it there. Okay. Eight seconds left. Here's the, they want the big bounce. Oh, they got the big bounce. And they got the football. The onside kick works. Well, I don't know how the clock can only take one second off during all that. But <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> David Kino got the recovery, and he's slow to get up. Five inches tall, number 86. Little razzle-dazzle. Oh, and the handoff is loose. And Champ's going to fall on it, and Brookfield East is going to win the state championship. Yeah. Champ had been a <laughs> thorn in Wanakee's side all afternoon, and he's involved with the final play of the day as Brookfield East wins their second state title. Previously in 2016, this one will be one they remember for a long time. A one-point win 
over Wanaki in a wild Division II final. So back in August, if you're at Brookfield East, you say, okay, here's what's going to happen. We're going to finish third in our conference, and then we're going to beat our two conference rivals, Brookfield Central and Menominee Falls in the playoffs, and then we're going to get the state, and John Champ, and then they're going to miss an extra point at the end, and then John Champ is going to be the last guy holding the football as you win the state championship. <laughs> Another likely scenario. How about that?